Now, I've seen this quite a lot when people are doing backup jobs to a network share. And to be honest, usually I do this myself with just the master DB where I want to have a quick snapshot of it for restore purposes. But as you can see, we have an access denied issue here when we're trying to create our backup. So we're going to quickly look at the share, which in this case happens to be on a nearby machine. And we can see that domain administrators have access and I'm logged in with the domain administrator account. So a lot of you are probably asking, well, why don't I have access? I am the domain admin after all, or I have the correct authority to the share. Well, if we look quickly across to the right hand side, we can see that our SQL server is running currently with an NT service. Now, any account that starts with NT is always the local machine. So in this particular scenario, we're going to go ahead and change the share permissions so that the local server account has access. Now, if you're running in a domain environment, I highly recommend that you run SQL under a SQL service account and that you add that to your share as individually adding three, 400 servers can be a little time consuming, not to mention very difficult to maintain. And even if you go with the other option of adding them to groups, it's equally, uh, let's call it, difficult in the long run to maintain.